then let his destiny unfold. That's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. That filthy creep. I hate him. Gather round for the sale of the century! Oh, he's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. A ladies and a gentleman. I have traveled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. See if he has any We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad. But I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... 
You really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to do something. Oi, kids, come here a minute. Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. <clears throat> One gold for all five warrants. Deal. The warrants blew off in that direction. Through the alley by that bloke with a picture box. Friends and relatives with a life for now, let's find image. some more money. <laughs> Pull the other one. Pull the other one. Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This... Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modelify for it. We'll do it for a gold piece. Hmm, I only have one gold left. But you're right, I should investalize it in my new venture. Uh, deal. A gold piece just to stand there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, oh, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. Ready, children. Hmm. That was somewhat lacking in... Well, it was oh, just plain nasty, I'm afraid. But I only have one sheet of magic paper, so it'll have to do. Stop wasting our time. Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> Three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. Not that was fun. Now, are you, doggy? And we've got our first gold coin. This must be the alley the warrants blew down. Oh, we should take oh, a look. Rick's a called the dog, Rex. and he's gonna kick the crap out ha! of it. You like that, you stupid mutt? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh! He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm going to hit another one. Go on! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Keep smacking! Ah! Go Stop on. it! Harder. Let me alone, you nutter! 
You fight like a hero. Ow! You Did you see that? That lunatic shot me right in the head. Thanks for your help. I could have taken him though. Hello. No, oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. <laughs> Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. Glad to be that Rex. He deserved it. <laughs> Is that one of the warrants? Well, we have our first warrant. Need help with something? Uh, sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, uh, would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer, if those hideous vermin ever can suffer. Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Hey, kid. Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the beetles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. The Nickname's behalf. Oh, good one! Hey, hey! He'll be able in no time! <laughs> Great work, kid. You've got a real talent there, you do. That'll teach Balthazar not to pay Nicky the nickname. Here, catch. Oh, I'm ruined. My stock is destroyed. You're not children. You're monsters. You're no better than those savage, vile beetles that are still in my warehouse. That was a laugh, wasn't it? Getting paid to smash things up. And we've got another gold coin. We're really doing it. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight, even. Get my booze back from that git magpie, and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a proper beggar. Has piles of stuff, and it's all stolen from bodified tramps like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? 
She's making all kinds of sense. Well, let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. So you'll bring me back my bottle? Yes! Ugh, oh, no. You'll find it and bring it to me, won't you, children? Let's find this magpie guy. That's one there. Yes, another warren. Hmm, I don't think they'll miss this Leroy if they see him. Hey, you found one for us. Good boy. Oh, I know. You're sweet. You ain't the boss but I told me. you before, we can't keep no, you. I'm your friend. Come on, little sparrow. Looks like a warrant, doesn't it? Only one more warrant left to find. Keep your eyes open. That must be... Ah, stupid Pete. You snooze, I take your booze. Let's go collect our gold from the lady and the tramp. You ain't the boss of me. Hey, the quadruplets are back. You've got booze. I can smell it. Are you sure it's not your breath? I'll give you a gold piece for it. Sounds good to me. No, don't fall off the wagon. Wagon? Where? Kids, look out for the wagon! Does he sound like he needs that? Here, I'll give you a gold piece for it. Hand it over! Don't, he's trying to quit. Hold it! What you bang this in there for? This must be yours. Ah, I've got it! You should be ashamed of yourself, getting children to fetch alcohol for you. Uh, yeah, you uh, have a point. He looks happy. Suppose that's what matters, isn't it? As a, a reminder, uh, of... And that's three gold coins now. Just two more and we can buy the box. That's all the warrants. We should go back to that <gasps> guard. <laughs> you fight like a hero or something. Hey, it's my favourite couple of kids. Mummy's good boy. Listen, creep. I told you no this morning. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? Otherwise there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. A gold's a gold, I guess. If you want the money right now, you could give him the warrant. Now you're talking, girl. I like playing with... The warrants are around here somewhere. Have you found them? 
Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, there's a gold piece. That's just sort out this town. is made now. Four gold coins. We just need one more. This fine municipality, Lord Lucian. Oh, Monty. Shh. I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you animal. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. What's the matter with you? Oh, little ones. My situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why would you ask me then? Maybe we could help you. Yes! You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like, like... We'll do it for a gold piece. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay you when she receives my letter. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. <laughs> this letter's awful. Listen to this. Darling, <laughs> run away with me. Like two doves, we shall rise on love's gentle breeze to soar above the world in our bliss, forever embracing in the clouds. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. Wait there while I get the money. And don't you touch anything. Oh. <gasps> Monty told us not to give it to the mother, but she'll pay us if we just wait here. But then, if we give it to Belinda upstairs, maybe they can run away together. No, I left it here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Thank you, postboy. Marry my daughter? Over my dead body! Where is he? <laughs> That's hilarious. We can buy the music box now. Come on, let's go buy that music box. I can't wait to see what it can do. How dare you propose to my daughter? I want to report a pervert! Um, it's not what you think. I, uh, I wrote the letter for you. What? Yes, I couldn't hide my feelings any longer. I knew you'd get the hint when I called you an animal. Now, show me you're an animal. Oh, t um... <laughs> Hello, children! 
Hello, we've come to buy the music box. Very wise, little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet-like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. 